This video was made possible by all the awesome folks out there that support me through Patreon and through donations. Thank you very, very much. And now, on with the video. Hello there, fellow captains. This is Connor, and welcome back to Dreadnought. I'm going to be doing something that I don't think is a very good idea. Uh, not a good idea in that I don't think it will help me help my team win the match. But I thought it would be fun after pretty much discovering how terrible these things actually are during last night's uh, stream over on Twitch. Information down below. But the challenge is this. On my Monarch, I've got it kitted out with the Heavy, heavy Mortar Secondary Weapon System. Now, the Weapon System Heavy Mortar can hit pretty hard. They're supposed to be used at mid to long range, I guess. Uh, the distance you have available on them is quite uh, long range. You'll see the numbers on screen anyway right now. But I'm going to challenge myself to use nothing but the mortars. If I can get three confirmed kills, actual captain kills, then I will switch and be able to use the rest of my loadout. Oh shit, okay, Morbius is right in there. Switch into the mortars. I mean, look at them, they do decent damage. Why would you ever use the Eman maneuver on such a fucking slow ship? There we go. Now, I'm allowed to use my energy distribution. But, uh, until I get a confirmed kill. Did I? I don't even know if I get one. I got one there. I don't think so. Oh my god, look at this. Look at them. I mean, there's so much crossfire going on there. Cross-contamination. Visual. Visually. That I can't really show you them. So, throw energy into the engines there. And, I mean, watch this. For instance, see that mountainous area over there? Let's use the mortars there. Look at how slow they travel. Now, leading targets in this thing is nigh impossible. It can be done by accident, but uh, if you actually want to go out of your way and try to use these, I'm not going to say you're going to have a good time. Oh, look, target sighted. So I can't use modules at all, not until I get three confirmed kills. So everyone's just going to be taking the complete mech out of me today because uh, I'm not going to be able to really defend myself. Oh, we got a hit. We got a hit. Okay, come on, lead those shots. Now, the problem I have with these things are mainly the long reload time. I mean, look at that reload time. It's quite bad. It's really slow. Not only do they travel slow in flight, but they also uh, reload quite slowly. So the only thing I can do here is probably just fixate on an enemy target and lay down some fire. And hopefully an ally will assist me in taking them down. Now, that might not be the case. And this might not be entertaining, but <laughs> it's something... That came to me last night during the stream, so... Oh shit, okay. He's right there, Morbius, god damn you! Come on, take him down. Oh, this is not going to work out. Oh dear lord, where did he go? Oh no, this ain't going to work. What have I done? Why did I... Agree with myself to do this? This is not going to work, this is just not... What the fuck? What's up with his artillery cruiser? Some sort of visual glitching going on there, are you seeing that? But anyway, let's get straight back into the fight. And I say straight away, let's get straight back into the fight while in a Monarch going like what? Three miles per hour. You just don't go anywhere that fast. I mean, watch this. That pod just disintegrated, which is good. Hmm. Oh my god, Wang is here as well. That's the last person I needed to see in this game. Fick, okay. Keep forgetting that it automatically switches back to your primaries whenever you respawn. But I'll have to remember that. Okay, and it doesn't, yeah, as I said, it has to be confirmed captain kills, not these little soft thrusters, even if I'm able to do it. I don't think I'm actually able to hit these things. I mean, look at that. Oh, did we get that one? Oh, we landed one of the projectiles. This ain't good, guys. This ain't good at all. Is that an enemy? Why is the nameplate not showing up? For fuck's sake. Right, we need something. We need somebody that we can fire upon. And not really have to worry about much else. Okay, let's see. We'll go for Olga. It's a bot. If we can't kill a bot, then we're not really going to be able to do much of anything. Okay. Uh, no, we're not landing no shots either. This was a terrible idea. This was an absolute terrible idea. I mean, the damage isn't bad. The damage per minute is fucking terrible. But the actual damage inflicted per projectile or per landing of all four isn't that bad. It's just the terrible reload time. 
combined with the really shitty travel time. I mean, actually, thinking about a fix for this, what would that be? What would that be? What would your what would you guys do to fix the mortars? What I would do is maybe either increase the reload time or just increase the travel time. Maybe both of them combined would make this an actual viable and useful weapon, a useful secondary. Because at the moment, if you're not using uh, the flex, then you're not playing the game right. Even the repeaters, which are decent, which you use primarily on the Monarch and Jutland prior to the uh, ballistic cannon uh, buff there. That's an ally. The repeaters were fine, but now that the ballistics, or the heavy ballistics, sorry, have been buffed, there's pretty much no need for the uh, repeaters anymore. I mean, look at the sea leading trying to lead, lead a shot in this. It's like World of Warships, only you're the only one playing in uh, World of Warships. Gameplay style. I mean, it pretty much is, actually. The reload isn't... Oh, we got a hit. We got somewhat of a hit there. Come on. Okay, we're doing some damage. We're not doing a great deal, but we are doing some. God damn, what have I got? Two! Two confirmed kills. Okay, we need to get one more. I don't even know how I got the two, to be honest. I didn't see anything on screen, but I'm going to judge the Isle uh, score counter there. But I do want to get another kill. If I can get another kill... <laughs> Look at the enemy score! <laughs> okay, that ain't going to happen. Uh... Right, okay, that was um, unexpected. I didn't ex think the enemy had that high a score already. Oh, no, I forgot again. Where is he? I don't see him. Uh, okay, GG, I guess. I guess, I mean, the motors look fucking cool. I like how they look a lot, but as you can tell, they suck. They suck big time. Like, they're really bad. I'm not even sure what situation you would use them in. They're too slow, even for a target that's fairly close. I don't see the, the use in them at all. But uh, let's get on to the next match. God, I don't even want to see my score. I'm quite embarrassed. Okay. Round two it is. Let's see if we can get some kills here. At least, let's try and get the three so we can start using everything else we have equipped. I'm not holding out much hope. And uh, just to let you know, in case... Well, I'm playing the following day. I couldn't get a game last night in Dreadnought each time I tried. So, second time's the charm. And hopefully, it will be a good night for Isle Dreadnought. But anyway, let's get ourselves right into the action here. It's an uh, onslaught. So I'm going to go straight for the enemy command ship. Hopefully there's going to be some action there. But again, all I need are the uh, three confirmed captain kills. And I can use whatever I have. I mean, obviously, I'll not be using the mortars after that point, but also look at them. Something I noticed. Notice how they're slowly rotating. If they're all facing this way, but I quickly turn the cursor or reticule this way, reticle, they'll still fire in that direction visually, even though they're all turned and facing this way. I noticed that earlier, and I thought it was uh, pretty interesting. But there is our target. We can warp jump right in on top of it. Come on. Now, the uh, command ship... It doesn't count. I need to get three captain kills. There we go. One shot out. We did some damage. Okay, this ain't going well. We are doing damage, just not a great deal. Oh, we didn't even get an assist. Ah, the story of my life. But let's turn this beast around. I am allowed to use my energy distribution, but uh, nothing I say to that. What's that aiming at me? Hmm. Okay, that's going to be our target. Affirmative. Roger that. I'm on my way. Whether or not I get the kill, though, is a completely different case. Oh, is he trying to lead the shots on a fucking Corvette in this thing? Get out of here. That ain't going to happen. Oh. 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 We got it. We got our first kill. No way. Hold on. Do those have, like, a... A radius for, uh, like, an explosion radius. That might be the case. They are mortars, uh, uh, after all. Explosive ordnance. You can try ramming me all you want. What's his name? I curd. That I don't care. So, uh... Allow me to get through this little thing here. I have been using warp jump, by the way. Just to get ourselves around, because we are in a dreadnought. We are in the Monarch. So, obviously, we do need to be able to get around... 
fairly quickly, or even not quickly at all. I mean, even with the dread, not. Or sorry, even with warp jump, we're still not going anywhere fast. Where the fuck? Come on. Oh, we almost got him. That was an assist. Uh, right. A lot of enemy targets here. Where's the majority of our team now? Where are you hiding now? They're over there, okay. I mean, look at the range in these things. The range is quite nice, but... Well. We might be able to land a few successful hits on Zygma. In his Jutland. But... Uh, you know, let's increase our rate of fire there. Throw the energy distribution into weapons. See if we can get some nice damage there. I don't think so. Nope. Okay, we are being hit pretty damn hard. That's a lot of missiles. Look at them. They're still coming. Come on. Oh, dear lord. Nope. Didn't even see him coming up there, but he's got the old carrot skin. Paint job, and that's a thumbs up in my book. Come on. Oh, this is painful. This is painful. Why did I ever agree with myself to do this challenge? Mortars are different, but they're not fun. And they're not reliable. Come on. Okay, warp jump out. Take power off the engines just for a moment until we actually land. Oh, awesome. Is the enemy one back yet? Oh, shit, wrong guns again. Oh, dear God. Come on, let's just fire all the guns. All four of them. I mean, obviously... Hmm. Ah, uh, come on, get me that kill. Get me the kill, come on. It's only a... So near Brutus, come on, we should be able to do fair damage to it if we can land some hits. Although that's the actual main issue here is actually landing those hits. We've got four of them that have pretty damn dispersion on range, or whenever they get to a certain range. Or hold on, no, they're, they're still, they still seem to stay pretty close. Come on, though. Come on, some damage even. Oh, 1,000, one of them landed. Oh, hello. Zegum is here. We can hit him, I guess. Come on, keep firing. Power to the shields. Come on, one more volley and he's out. Oh, how many is that? That's two. Oh, my God. The enemy are already halfway to victory and I've only got two. Uh, who am I firing at here? Who am I firing at? at, at, at iron toss. God damn it. Oh. I feel like I've got a massive stick. Only I'm very, very slow and swingy in that big stick. So all the people I'm trying to hit with a stick can just easily avoid me. I might get an old graze then again. Give them a little bit of a scratch, but in the grand scheme, I'm not doing much to them. I'm not going to end their lives or anything. Which is the obvious goal here. Look at the state of this monstrosity, but you got all of Kara Kick. Here we go, right. Okay, so the enemy are just clustered over here, and they're waiting for our command ship. Obviously, that seems pretty damn smart, seeing how they're all clustered as they are. But, hey, what's he doing? What in the name of God is he up to? I have no idea. Okay, warp jump. We'll try and go for Elias here, the bot. Come on. There he is. Come on, come on. There we go, all four shots landed on target. There we go again. Come on. Come on, do it. <laughs> so the damage does mount up fairly slowly, but it does mount up. Maybe I should have actually allowed myself to use modules, but nah, that's not as interesting, I don't think. I mean, oh, somebody else is using the mortar's eye, you sad, sad son of a bitch. Who is that, actually? Rob110. Wait, Rob? Okay. I thought he was in the Jutland. He's just using... Uh, I don't know. I don't know where, what led me to that old train of thought, but I thought he was using the Jutland. Firing. 
it's even more painful using the tier four, uh, tier four variety over the tier five. I'm not even sure if you can get them on the tier four, on the Jutland. Oh dear God! Okay, I'm just trying to get into combat. I mean, the rest of our team are just farting about, which is evident by the score here. Come on! Nope, nothing. Although I did have a volley out there. No, not not a single hit. Not a single hit. Hmm. Oh, look at the little interceptors. That's pretty cool. And away we go again. I curd is telling us to get out of the fucking sky. I can't! I've got my mortars and I need to use them. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't want to work, is it? It just is not going to work. It is fun. I mean, it's you couldn't do it every game, obviously. But it is fun. I, I, I'm i saying that with a massive frown on my face. But it's fun. It's 100% fun. 100% worth it. Only worth it 1% of the time. 1 out of 100 games. Do a challenge like this. I mean, look at that. I came third, which isn't bad. Using just mortars, warp jump, and power to engines. Uh, I suppose I could have done better with power to weapons. Or throwing the energy in the weapons. But um, I don't think I would have survived much longer with that because I at least had my shields to keep me up, keep me alive for a, a longer period of time. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any fucking evil, torturous little challenges you'd like to possibly see in the future, comment down below. In the meantime, I'm going to go and scrub myself with bleach to get this dirty feeling off myself. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. And I'd like to thank my current patrons and those who support me over on Twitch as well as those who donate. Thank you very much, and my patrons' names will be on screen in a moment. Until next time, bonjourno.